Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. A very quick update on the MacBook Pro 2018 editions and in particular the topic of the thermal throttling which we saw so much on YouTube last week. We saw many top reviewers getting their hands on the latest MacBook Pros and demonstrated the processor was indeed throttling when it was used with programs such as Premiere and Final Cut Pro. And in particular, we saw a significant amount of throttling on the i9 processor variant of this laptop. Now, for those of you who don't really know what throttling is, essentially it's a software limitation that will come into place when the processor is experiencing excessive heating and that prevents it from overloading and malfunctioning. So it's there to ensure that we don't have any processing issues, but at the same time it degrades the actual processing power, which is far from ideal. In a larger format computer such as a desktop class or perhaps even an iMac Pro, they can put more cooling into the system to cool down the processor sufficiently so you don't have to implement any throttling or as much throttling. But obviously in a small unit like the MacBook Pro, overheating can become an issue. But nonetheless, apparently, Apple have come to the party and released an update that's going to take care of the problem. They say that following extensive performance testing under numerous workloads, we've identified that there is a missing digital key in the firmware that impacts the thermal management system and could drive clock speeds down under heavy thermal loads on the new MacBook Pro. A bug fix is included in today's macOS High Sierra 10.13.6 supplemental update and is recommended. We apologize to any customer who has experienced less than optimal performance on their new systems. So there you have it, a very rare admission of fault from Apple there. And within a very quick turnaround time of just over a week, they have rolled out this update for anyone that's purchased this or is about to purchase this brand new MacBook Pro. So in my opinion, if you're looking to purchase one right now, I don't see any reason why you'd wanna hold off that purchase. What you do need to consider though, is whether you need to go for the i7 or i9 model, knowing that there are throttling issues that have come about because of heat related to high processing performance tasks. I would be more inclined to go for an i7 processor, which will be less likely to be subject to any future throttling anyway. So that's something to consider. If you have got the budget and you're willing to spend well above $7,000 to go the six core i9 and spec it up with 32 gig of RAM and more than two terabytes of SSD, go ahead and spend that money. If you're more conservative and not sure which way to go, I'd be inclined to toe the middle line there and probably go for a mid-range i7 as long as you're getting the 32 gigabytes of RAM and preferably two terabytes of SSD storage to see you through the year of production. I think that would be the way to go. If you wanna see my full overview video of the latest range of MacBook Pros, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Also, I have produced some other videos centered around the previous generation of MacBook Pro, which you may be interested in. So I'll leave a link to those in the description as well. If you've come across any information about this latest generation, about the throttling issue and you want to share it with our channel members, feel free to put your comments in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit me up with a like. And also, if you want to see future videos just like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as they're available. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye for now.